It is June 10th. I've been walking out in the woods for a little over an hour now. And I finally found the one species of mushrooms that I was hoping I would find today. Let's take a closer look at these guys. So what we have here is a fairly nice example of crown-tipped coral, Artomyces paxidatus. These ones are relatively fresh. They must have just popped up within the last couple days. Looks like some of these clusters are covering this fallen tree pretty good. You can see it all the way down to there. There's even some over there. I don't know if you can really see right around here, 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 here. There's a couple clusters right there. A couple clusters down there too. But why am I excited to find these? Well, because honestly, these are one of my favorite wild mushrooms to eat. Now, how do you know if you have crown tip coral if you're out in the wild looking for mushrooms? Well, one very big hint to tell you what these are is these are growing directly on a fallen tree. Uh, it's relatively well rotted. You can see it's pretty, pretty soft. I found these though on trees that seem to have just recently fallen. So uh, just because the tree that they're growing on, if it's not completely rotted and you know soft and mushy, it doesn't mean that you're, you're not looking at crown tip coral. One thing that you do have to take into consideration. Oh wow, look, look over here. There's a little teeny tiny bird egg. Must have fell out of a nest up here somewhere. Well, hello there, little guy. Back to the mushrooms. Crown tip coral are called crown tip coral because I do have some pictures on my computer uh, from bunches that I've taken before with my uh, one microscope. You can see how the tips of these corals look like little crowns, hence their common name. And as for the scientific name Artemisis paxidatus, I think that's how you pronounce it, but I've never actually heard someone, you know, pronounce it, you know, just in conversation. So that's what we're going with. Uh, if you find these, they will typically come, like, keep coming back on the, the tree or the log that they, that you found them on year after year. This is probably the fourth or fifth year I found them in this general area. So they'll, if you find them in one area, kind of remember where you you picked them at before and just keep coming back to that area around the same time each year and you'll probably be rewarded with them. So let me, let me get a couple bunches here. Here, let me cut off this one down here on the bottom because it seems to be the freshest. One thing you'll notice is that they do have kind of a yellowish tint to them. Whenever they're very young, this yellow tint that's present at the top of the tips right here, that'll pretty much go down the length of the entire fruiting body. But once they get a little older, they will start to get maybe a little browner, you know, here towards the parts that grow out of the wood. As long as they are not mushy as long as they don't have any visible mold growing on them then these guys are a very safe edible mushroom to consume they have a very very peppery smell to them like you smell them and they almost have like a i don't know like a, a mushroom cross with black pepper scent to them it's actually really Oh, it's really, really nice. And it's pretty singular. Once you smelled these once, you're like, oh, okay, yeah. Because you'll be able to, you'll be able to pick them out of a lineup of different coral mushrooms just by smell alone. But yeah, yeah, these are very, very nice. They're very delicious. Relatively easy to identify. You definitely don't want to eat these raw. Just pretty much the same. Just treat them the same way you would any other wild mushroom. Cook them up, don't eat them raw. Make sure that you're properly identifying them before you try to consume them. And your first time eating them, just uh, take a little, try a little bit, you know, a little bit at first, just to make sure that you're okay. 
because some people can have kind of a an adverse reaction to them. All right, let's keep looking. I'm going to get these, and I'll, I'll leave about a quarter of them on the tree. And that's how much I got from this one tree. Not a bad little haul. You can see this is just a standard paper lunch bag. So, yeah, that's enough for a, a little snack. If you only find, like, a... See, I didn't take all the, the coral off of here. If you only find a couple clusters that are, like, you know, this size right here, I wouldn't even bother taking them because... Whenever you cook them, they <laughs> they really, really cook down. So you, you got to find enough to make it worthwhile. But you know what I mean. Oh, and how you like my walking stick? It's a broken golf club that I found while I was walking in the woods. I just kind of unscrewed the broken... Well, I guess it was a... Yeah, it was a driver. I unscrewed the head off of it, and I've been using that for a walking stick for like six years now. But hey, works just fine. Let's go see if we can find some more crown tip coral because generally speaking especially if it's been raining quite a bit it's been we've had quite a bit of rain here the last week or so if you find them on one fallen tree and you want to be most of the time you want to be on the lookout for trees that are laying directly on the ground so that they absorb as much water and retain as much water as possible if you find them on a tree in one area on the ground just kind of scope around and see if you can find them elsewhere and you know within like a 100 or 200 meter radius uh, because chances are they're going to be growing elsewhere you just got to go find them so let's go see if that's the case oh yes this is what i was hoping to find look at this look at all these they're just completely covering this fallen tree all the way down to there. They're actually on another tree right beside this one. And they're super, super fresh too. Most of them are anyway. The nice thing about crown tip coral is it's a really, really easy mushroom to identify. There aren't really any, there, there might be a couple lookalikes that could give you some gastrointestinal distress but there's no like actual like deadly lookalikes that you could really confuse this with. Uh, a lot of people might ask, how do you know for sure that you're looking at crown tip coral and not some other kind of coral? Well, the biggest hint here is that it is obviously growing on wood. Now this is obviously a very dead down tree and it's this one again, like that other one, it's, not this one's not super super rotten but it's it's definitely been on the ground for a while so it's decomposed at least to a certain a pretty good degree uh, there aren't really a whole lot of coral mushrooms that look like this that grow on wood and a lot of times you you'll even find these on it looks like they're growing out of the ground which i guess technically they are if there's no obvious tree but they'd be growing on uh you know, like buried wood that could be under the, the pine needle duffs, or I found these on pine trees, I found these on hardwood trees. So they don't really seem to care what kind of wood they grow on, at least to a certain degree, uh, as long as it's fairly well rotted. Let's walk down here a bit and check out these other clusters. Yeah, you can see that yeah, these ones might be a little too old. There's a couple, like these These two right here aren't too bad. This one back here, eh, it's just getting to the point, it's just getting to the point where they might be a little too old to eat. Oh, and I'll show you an example of ones that you don't really wanna eat because they're too old. I can see it down here, right here. This cluster, underneath this leaf I wouldn't really eat them but then on the flip side there's a looks like a brand new small cluster growing right there so hey we're in really good shape as far as finding enough to eat yeah, there's see these ones are really black and 
maybe if you were really if you really want to try them you could kind of harvest these and cut away the really dark parts but since we have so many here to work with i'll just leave those darker ones there for spore <clears throat> now there is one other type of coral that i have found on trees around here you know down trees and that's a straight branched coral straight branch coral it it's called straight branch coral because well it grows up in i think i have pictures of it it grows up very very straight and it doesn't like it doesn't have these little crowns on the tips and it smells acrid it just smells not pleasant but even them i don't think they're toxic they just they're supposed to not taste very good but once again these crown tip corals are choice in my opinion at least oh and they just oh man they just have such a nice scent to them and they're just such an interesting mushroom to eat all together and oh, i love them but yeah if you've ever found these and you're wondering what they are and if you could eat them as long as you follow the, the tips and the steps that i talked about here you know growing on wood nice creamy white yellowish color maybe a little browner with age a nice peppery like pleasant fragrance to them uh and not having any like real like you can even take a little bite of these and if you if you want it's not it's not it's not uh dangerous to do this just take a little nibble chew it up a little bit and yeah it has a Spit it out, don't eat that, obviously, not until it's cooked. But it has like a, almost like a black pepper taste to it. It's just so indescribable, you have to try it. <laughs> but yeah, no, this is awesome. I'm gonna harvest these and put them in my bag. I'll show you how many we have then, and I'll just keep kind of looking in the area. But if this is all we find, then I'm happy with that. Yeah, baby, got our bag about half full. The crown tip coral. We're looking good. There you go. That's pretty much a perfect cluster. That is super, super fresh, super consistently colored all the way through. It's a nice size cluster as well. Very, very good. And there's some more over here I'll show you once I get these. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at these. I guarantee these just came up in the last, sorry. I guarantee these just came up in the last couple days. Look at this cluster, wow. See, whenever you find a lot like this, you can make a pretty decent meal from them. Heck yeah, man. There's some more here, some more there, some more down there. I'll keep an eye out in this area. This is on my way back to my car, actually. I'm back at my car. I think I'm gonna call that a day. I have about a million mosquito bites, but I have my bag filled up about three quarters of the way full with crown tip coral. Very successful hunting trip. Very good. I can't wait to get home and saute these up in some butter, throw a little salt and pepper on them and eat them up.